Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today, for today's workout, we're going to just get right into that, what I have scheduled or what's on tap. So I'm going to be I'm working on my VO2 max, and to do that, I'm going to be out on my mountain bike. It's called a max effort intervals. Now, it's really somewhat complicated, so I'm going to try to read this off to you. It's, uh, in total, it's going to be, uh, well, it says a 90-minute workout, and then at the top it says 1 hour, 22 minutes, and 35 seconds. So they get it right down to the second here at Garmin. Um, but this is the format. Okay, so I'm going to warm up, and I'm going to ride for one minute at a max effort, and then have eight minutes at a recovery pace. And then I'm going to ride for four minutes at max effort with 10 minutes at a recovery pace. And then I'm going to ride 10 minutes at max effort with five minutes at a recovery pace. And then I one minute hard with one minute at a recovery pace. And I'm going to repeat all of that four different times. So then, then it says ride four minutes hard, three minutes at recovery pace, and then to cool down. So there is a lot to unpack with that, uh, with that format of a workout. So I'm just going to do the best that I can. If I don't get it exactly, you know, as written, that's okay. That's all right. Sometimes, you know, just getting out there and getting it done is, is good enough, is good enough. So I'm going to try to honor the intent of the workout and do all of the things that they describe. But, you know, I just know from past experience that sometimes it's, it's hard to get all of those pieces um, exactly right. So I'm not, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, you know, just being out on my bike for an hour and a half is definitely going to help uh, my fitness either way. But I'm definitely going to try to honor the intent of the workout. Okay, I think I said that enough times. Um, oh, so I grabbed this because it, it just arrived uh, yesterday. In fact, they, um, the, Bob and Brad sent this to me for the purpose of review. And they contacted me and they said that they were going to send it out two days ago and it would be here sometime like next week, but it showed up the next day. <laughs> that is fast. That is super, super fast shipping, but it's uh, their new massage gun. And you can see that it's a, quite a bit of a different design than what they've had in the past. And this is their pro massage gun. Uh, you know, I, I'm not even sure what it retails for, I'm, you know, just from looking at all the different features and so on, it's probably going to be, you know, somewhere around that 175, maybe a $200 range because it just seems like it's, um, you know, there's just a lot of uh, stuff going on there with it. So I'm um, looking forward to checking that out and, you know, I'll post a review of that here, you know, in a week or two, I want to have a chance to, to use it. I'll use it after my workout today for sure. Things like that. So uh, check out the build quality, power, all that kind of good stuff. So that's just something that's coming to the channel. And uh, since we spoke last, uh, we have a, a new resident in our home. So Kim and I adopted another cat or in this case, a kitten. And we haven't had a kitten in this house in a really, really long time. So I am in Canton, Michigan. It's about an hour and a half drive from where Kim and I live. And we are at PetSmart because we're meeting uh, a couple that's adopting, you know, they, they uh, foster cats. And so we're looking to adopt a kitten today. So that's not something that Kim and I have had in the house for a long time because we have senior cats. And, uh, we're doing a meet and greet. We're doing a meet and greet. So it's likely that uh, we will come home with a new addition to our family. And uh, we don't have any names picked out. So that'll be fun for us. And, uh, you know, I understand that this cat has the kind of personality that gets along with other cats, which is a really good thing. I'm going to step inside just a little bit here. So I need to get my cat carrier uh, to give her a safe ride home. But our cats are all senior cats, as you know. And we have three of them. Uh, and I think that having a kitten, in addition of having a kitten to our household, uh, is going to be a welcome one. So we're really looking forward to it. And I will introduce you to her uh, once we get her settled in at home. I'm going to lock this door here. All right. Let's go meet the kitten. devil here she is right I'm almost right on cue so this is her how adorable is that cat I mean come on <laughs> it's just 
she's just such a sweetheart. She's such a sweetheart. And like I said, she's winning her older cats over. So she just runs around and, and they might, you know, snarl or hiss at her a little bit, but she pays no attention to that at all. And uh, I think she's kind of warmed down now because they're even starting to play with her a little bit and chase her around in, in a really playful and fun manner. So all of that is just, it's been fun to see unfold. And she and she's only been with us for a few days. We picked her up over the weekend. So great addition to our home. All right, guys, enough about all of that and what's going on here. I'm going to go outside and get my workout in. Uh, it's going to be a gorgeous day. It's, it's going to get warmer today. And so I want to get out there before it gets too warm. All right, let's go get this one done. So we are off and on our ride for today. I just started my watch and it says to warm up in heart rate zone one. So I'm not exactly sure how long. I'm going to try to take a look here. Uh, it doesn't really say five minutes. It looks like maybe five minutes in zone one and then I don't remember what comes next. So a good thing that it's all loaded up to my watch. Tricky for this format is finding places where I can ride unobstructed, you know, full out for you know, a minute or four minutes or whatever the plan might be calling for, 10 minutes, which is a fairly long time. And when I ride in town like this, there aren't that many places that I can go that aren't uh, where I'm not gonna come up to a stop sign or traffic or some other types of obstacles that I really need to be careful of. On the third piece of the warm up or third stage, or it wants me to be in zone four. I've got to turn around here because it looks like they've got some trucks down there doing some work on my path. So kind of getting in zone four right now might be a bit of a trick because I didn't time it out very well and I'm at the top of a hill. But once I get down here, the next section I'm gonna go on is right over there and that's all kind of uphill. So I should be pretty good that way. I just gotta get there. This uh, plan here that's been loaded to my watch for this workout, it did note that the uh, efforts or the interval starts when you start it and not when your heart rate gets to the zone that it's calling for. And that makes a big difference because it can take me a little bit of time sometimes for my heart rate to rise up to the level that they're calling for. And if it didn't start till that happened, I'd be adding on, you know, a pretty good amount of time to the interval that it's not calling for. I'm in the uh, 10 minute recovery phase right now after that harder effort. Whew, I need it. Oh my goodness. Oh, my legs are tired. Oh, I guess that's why we do it. Try to push ourselves, push ourselves a little bit. Yeah, that guy decided to take his half out of the middle. Gotta watch out for those guys. Gotta watch out for everybody. Oh my goodness. Oh, good. Looks like the trucks are gone. I'm gonna go back that way. Now, I wasn't able to earlier because they were working on the. Uh, tennis courts and things like that just trying to get them all washed up probably for pickleball people use that court for pickleball more than they do tennis so my workout just ended one of the things that I really like about you know this kind of a workout is there's so much variety that the time flies oh my gosh uh, I am probably a mile from home and I just kind of lost track of time I didn't realize that the workout had, had uh, you know, come close to an end where I was, or I would have been a little closer to home, try to time it out a little better. But, uh, you know, having the variety and the duration, as well as the intensity, really makes the time go by fast. It makes it interesting and fun, and a lot of fun to do. Uh, it doesn't mean it wasn't a lot of work, because it was. It was a lot of work, but uh, it's always worth it in the end. All right, I'm going to sign off for now, finish my bike ride home, and uh, we'll talk more in a minute.
Uh, so I got to get home here and see how all the cats are getting along. You know, I'm really surprised just how well they are doing. Um, you know, Bella is the dominant personality, so she continues to hiss at the little one uh, frequently, but it has declined, right? So she's not hissing at her as often. And uh, this morning, she was playing with her. So I think Remy's winning her over. She already won over Sparty, our all black cat. And Marty so far, he's kind of indifferent, but I did notice that she was playing with him today too. You know, it's kind of infectious, that little cat and all of her energy. So it's just kind of fun to watch the dynamics and how they play out. All right. I had to make a little detour there because I couldn't cut across the road with traffic coming. So I made a wide turn as I head back into my subdivision towards home. I just passed my house only because I wanted to end on kind of a round number and I needed about 20 extra seconds to get to an hour and 30 minutes uh, which we should be there by now oh I gotta mow the lawn today ah oh, goodness all right let's stop our watch hour and 30 minutes almost on the button uh, my heart rate right now is 139, a little higher than I expected for what little bit of effort I was putting into it. I'm going to say somewhat hard as far as the effort goes and rating it, but it felt pretty good. Uh, my hip does feel pretty good. You know, it's one of those things where I feel like I could go out and run right now, but I know that I'm not supposed to. Uh, so it's tough when you're not in any pain any longer. Uh, so I went 20.34 miles. It does say the training effect is base. You know, that's not all bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. And I think a lot of that is because I spent quite a bit of time in recovery, you know, in those recovery zones and less time uh, actually in the high impact or, or high zones. So, plus I was having a little trouble, like I said, getting up to that zone five where they really wanted me to be. All right, you guys. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind of one another. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I'm anxious to try out that new massage gun by Bob and Brad. It's their pro version. It reminds me, what is it? Is it Theragun? No. Maybe it is. Something like that. But the design of that reminds me a bit of, um, of, that, of that gun. And it's a pro version, so it's supposed to be stronger, the battery's supposed to last longer, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to try it out. Whew, all right, time to go take a shower. <sighs> so I do the penguin walk back into my garage. <laughs>